Hi everybody, my name is Benjamin Ritter and I'm here to tell you a personal story that involves a little bit of love, a little bit of loss, and then hopefully we all learn something at the end, which is kind of the standard for most relationships today. Um, so how many people have heard of the advice, find your purpose? Raise your hand, let me see. So I heard of that advice when I was a kid as well, and I didn't really know what it meant, but I thought that I should really dedicate my life towards it. And so I did, and eventually, I actually fell in love. Uh, nothing was more motivating and more invigorating than having a sense of purpose. It was this goal, this light at the end of a tunnel. It was a filter for all my decisions. What was right? What was wrong? Um, it even made me kind of choose who I was going to be friends with, which eventually kind of isolated me a little bit, but I was in love. That really didn't matter. Because what is the purpose of all of following your purpose and finding your purpose and having a goal, it's to find happiness. At least that's what I was told. <laughs> and I was happy for a little bit during that time until things kind of started going wrong. And what happens when you're in a relationship and things aren't going the way they're supposed to? You kind of invest even more. And so I isolated myself even more from my friends and from my experiences. And I tried even harder. I went across country. I went, I went out of the country for six months, really just trying to make it work. And kind of like all your friends and family, they see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> Something's not going to go right here. Um, and then it happened. About 10 years ago, 2,000 miles away from home, my purpose was stripped from me. And I've never felt such pain and suffering Every way that I defined who I was was gone. I had no passion, I had no motivation, I didn't really know how to get up in the morning, and it took me a really long time to get over it. I was left with absolutely nothing. And over the years, I rebuilt, and I learned, and I grew, and mistakenly, I kind of tease a little bit with my purpose. You know, you kind of go back to your ex. Uh, <laughs> but eventually, I got over it. But it still was one of the greatest heartbreaks of my life. I actually work in the field of life, dating, and relationship consulting. And I didn't really understand the connection between your purpose and relationships until I was working with people on their relationships and thinking about my experiences with my purpose. So I have five tips for all of you on how to successfully date and have a loving relationship with your purpose. The first one is you really have to know yourself. It's very, it's dangerous to invest in something without knowing who you are. The next, you really, well, when you know yourself, you then can invest logically and not emotionally. So even if you fall in love right away, you're still able to think, is this right for me? Am I good at it? Or four years down the line, what if it's not really right for you anymore? Instead of worrying about all the energy you invested in it, you can get out. And if any time during that, you know, loving relationship, you're insecure or jealous, well, your purpose can't cheat on you. So it really reflects on something within yourself, your self-confidence, which is really made up of two things, your self-efficacy, which is your belief in being able to accomplish your purpose, and your self-esteem, which is your belief and personal view of yourself. And don't make the same mistake I made and isolate yourself from all your friends and isolate yourself from other experiences. Be more than your purpose. Don't forget who you were before your purpose. Can, not just because your purpose may disappear on you one day and you're left, you'll be left without it, but because who you were before your purpose was just as good as who you are when you're living a life of purpose. The next thing, and it really kind of all comes down to this, is you want to really live in the present. A lot of times we strive to accomplish something. We're striving to reach this greatness and this happiness, because it all comes down to happiness. But we're forgetting about the seconds and the moments that we live each and every day, from every friend, from every experience we have. It doesn't have to be just from your purpose. Don't miss out on that. Happiness is here and now, and happiness is in every single moment. Your happiness is not something that you can achieve. It's a state of mind that you have control over, that you can create. And I want to leave you all with this. Your purpose is also something that you create. It's a product of you. And you, right at this second, no matter what your purpose is, no matter what you're striving for, even if you don't have a purpose, you're more than your purpose. Thank you.